Hey guys, um, I'm having some trouble breaking uh, these shoes and I'm hoping with this video you guys can see what's going wrong and help me out. Um, I watched a video from Alan on how to rig shoes, great video, very helpful, uh, and it inspired me to create these heart pumps, which are my first attempt at a sellable uh, model uh, for Daz, and as you can see they are a fairly um, detailed model. Um, they have some uh, nice uh, details and uh, different uh, regions are identified are defined for colors and textures that shall come later. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what's going wrong here. So I'm going to export these uh, to Wavefront OBJ uh, for use in DAS, and then we're going to go over to DAS, and as you can see, it's a brand new scene with uh, a Genesis 3 female with nothing done to it at all yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the feet, the left foot of uh, this model and get it positioned and prepared to take, uh, to accept the shoes. So as per Alan's video, we're going to do 75% tiptoe and negative 50 spread on the toes. Let's do that for both. And uh, there we go. And then let's go ahead and import the shoes I just exported. And those come in very nicely. Uh, so then we're going to go ahead and do edit object geometry convert to sub D. So as you can see, these look really good. They, you know, seem to be fitting great. I tried to keep the tolerances pretty close here so there's not a lot of space between. Uh, the you know, actual figure and the shoe, try to keep it as realistic as possible. Um, so let's go ahead and start the process of rigging these guys. Uh, so the very first thing we do is click on the Genesis 3, go to currently used, and let's note the 65% uh, JCMs there. Uh, and we're going to uh, remember those so we can put them back in. We're going to go ahead and activate our joint editor. And we're going to right click on our Genesis 3 female, go to edit, and do bake joint rotations, which as you can see creates a little deformation in the leg there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and paste the old 65% values back in, which will make her go back to uh, normal basically. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is activate the transfer utility, sources Genesis 3 female, item shape for sources current and target is heart pumps. We're going to leave the item shape for target as default and hit accept. And as you notice, the transfer utility does its thing and the shoes get a little funky looking. Uh, I'll point these all out, right? <clears throat> so the next thing we do uh, as per the video uh, is set the we're going to select the hard pumps and we're going to set the resolution back to high and put the JCMs for the shoes back to zero, which kind of gives the shoes a nice, perfect, smooth look here, which is great. Um, so now it's on to getting these weights uh, mapped out on the shoes. Um, so the first step in doing that is going to our figure and zeroing out the poses for the feet, which creates this crazy, wrinkly, nutty looking shoe, uh, just as it did in the actual video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just do this. And we're going to select the shoe, go to our weight mapping tool, go to tool settings, and you'll see here with the heart pumps. We go through the hierarchy of the shoe. The pelvis thigh doesn't have any influence, but the left shin, well, let's do that again. Pelvis, thigh, thigh, no influence. That's on both sides. But the left shin does influence the shoe. Now, I don't know if this is correct or not, but to me, it seems like the shin, which you know, if I understand what a shin is correctly, is right in, up in here, should not be influencing the shoe at all, I would think. Uh, again, I could be wrong about this, but what I'm inclined to do is remove any influence from the shin 
off of the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I've spent a lot of time weight mapping this shoe, trying different things, experimenting, and nothing I've done has gotten me a good result in the end, uh, which you'll see exactly what's happening. Um, in an effort to keep this video as short as possible, I'm not going to be too uh, picky about how this looks as far as the smoothing goes, but I'll do some of it. Uh, so you'll see left foot does have influence on the shoe. I guess we'll leave that. Uh, and as in the video, we'll go to the left metatarsal, uh, whoopsie, and we'll start smoothening out. Let's do that again because I hit the, the right shoe I was doing now. Let's position this view better so I don't accidentally get the, the shoe crossed away there. So I like to add a little bit of weight there. And you can get this all looking pretty smooth. Uh, I'll try to go quickly here. Um, I'm going to smoothen out this in here. And just as an FYI, the use symmetry wasn't working. Uh, and I put in a trouble ticket. I don't like the way that came out. Uh, and we've gone back and forth a bunch of times, and I'm not sure if it was the update that fixed it or what, but there was an update today. I'm not sure if the update is new or I just hadn't gotten it, but the updates seem to fix the symmetry issue because symmetry seems to be working now, and before when I was doing this, symmetry was not working. Um, so if you guys did fix that, then thank you. That's great. Um, and if you guys are wondering whether or not that started working for me, yes, it has. So in any event, smoothing, 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 smoothing. Um, and like I said, I can spend a real considerable amount of time doing this. And I can get this looking halfway decent, but really only halfway. This wrinkling in here is virtually impossible to get out. Not even totally sure why it's happening. Um, the wrinkling in the heel, I can't get out. Let's go to the heel. And as part of the video, let's put all the weight on there as this is a rigid object in the real world and should not be influenced by the foot at all. So we're going to do that. I'm going to keep going here with that and smoothing this out nice and smooth. Um, you know, I've even experimented with... Um, making the entire sole of the shoe fully uh, weighted to make it rigid, uh, but it doesn't it doesn't exactly quite work. So, you know, again, with this weight mapping, you know, I'm still kind of learning and trying to figure out what works best. Um, but I want to stress that no matter how much time I've spent on this and how nice I've gotten this heel to look with the weight mapping, when I finally finish rigging it, it does not work. It creates a problem. And I'm going to illustrate that problem very s shortly. So anyway, it looks a little bit better. It's not terrible. Um, but let's assume I go and do this, because like I said, I have done this to the point where I can get it as smooth as humanly possible. And to be honest, even with all, quite a lot of work, this doesn't get that much smoother. Um, so... <clears throat> now that we've finished our weight mapping, uh, we go ahead and select the heart pumps and we will uh, go to the joint tool, uh, right click and do edit and do uh, bake joint rotations, correct? Uh, as you can see, that kind of makes it a little bit screwier than it even was. But that'll come out, I believe. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now fit the shoes to nothing. And by doing that, it does uh, bounce back a bit. Uh, <clears throat> let us delete our Genesis 3 model next. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, export the shoes um, Sorry, I'm just reading my notes here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and export the shoes to a temporary OBJ. Right, that's the step we're at. 
actually before we do that I just noticed in my notes I knew I was forgetting something is we're gonna go to the parameters shoes I'm gonna go to heart pumps and uh, general mesh I'm gonna set this to base for the um, resolution and then we're going to go ahead and export these shoes to a temporary OBJ. So export and we're going to call this TEMP temp and save. And we're going to leave all this defaults and hit accept. Then we go edit, figure uh, geometry and update base geometry, update vortex positions, hit OK, select our temp object, hit open, and leave those default, and hit accept. And that brings the uh, shoes uh, to a little bit of a funky position there in the back. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and set both these JCMs back to zero. And set the resolution back to high. Uh, we're going to now bring in a brand new fresh Genesis 3 female. And that's coming in. And then we're going to right click the shoe and say fit to Genesis 3. So this is the point where it seems like things went pretty well because if I take the uh, Genesis 3 female left foot and pose it back into the 75% uh, tiptoes and then toes spread negative 50 and let's do that with the right foot as well um, tiptoes 75 and you're probably at this point wondering, well, what's going wrong? So it'll, it's coming, it's coming. So as you can see, in the correct pose, the shoes look fantastic. And actually, there's even a bit of, you know, you can bend these shoes a bit before they deform to a point where it starts to look weird. I mean, but to be honest, you know, in real life, you know, you would never be in this pose in these shoes. So, you know, th it seems like these the range of motion that there are, even at this point, being allowed by the shoes are somewhat realistic and expected. And they look great. Uh, and it feels like, you know, we've, we're done and fantastic and, you know, congratulations. So, this is where things go wrong when we now want to save these as a figure, uh, you know, as an asset. So we take the Genesis uh, 3 figure and uh, put her back into the zero pose and we select the shoes and we go to file um, save as sorry I'm looking down at my notes while I'm doing this. So file save as support asset your prop asset and we're going to save them as heart pumps oh sorry cat blocks it on h-e-a-r-t p-u-m-p-s okay and not the blend file so we did that and we're going to just leave this all at default for now and do that well now if i go to my content library and come here and refresh. Sometimes this does not refresh, and I'm not totally sure why. Um, to show the actual, there they are. Okay, no, it takes a second for this to pop in, but there they are. So at this point, um, I should be able to delete the shoes. Oops, let's not do that. Uh, delete just the shoes. Uh, and if I wanted to bring these shoes in, um, so just for fun, let's bring them in and they should be, uh, now fit to 
the Genesis 3 female because I had her selected. So let's go to the foot. And so, if, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pose the foot. And we're going to do tiptoes at 75. And we're going to put the spread down at 50. So just to recap real quick. I got all the way to the point where uh, the... Let's do the right foot real quick. Let's do tiptoes, 75, and let's spread it. So we got to the point where the shoes were <clears throat> rigged and positioning well and looked smooth, and I could uh, bend the foot, and it was still looking pretty good and had pretty good range of motion. I exported these as a, or saved them as a figure prop asset. Uh, just to double check, it said, right? That's what I did, right? Save as, export asset figure prop asset. Uh, we then saw them over here. I now re-brought them in. And as you can see, in the proper 75 tiptoes and negative 50 spread, the shoes have all these wrinkles in them. And from this point forward, no matter what I do, those wrinkles will not go away. Um, you know, just for fun, let's try deleting Genesis 3, let's bring a brand new Genesis 3. And if I'm not mistaken, at this point, you know, all right, there's not a wearable preset, so the shoes would not cause the figure to go automatically into the correct pose. Let's try, just for fun, putting her ahead of time in the pose that we need for the shoes. Let's do that, all right? So 75, and then let's bring the shoes in. 75, let's do this. So here she is in the right pose. We go to content library, we're gonna bring in the shoes. And again, when they come in, they come in all wrinkled. And the wrinkles seem to mimic what you would expect to see when <clears throat> the uh, weight brushing was happening. That's where we were seeing that. So, um, and as you can see, if I, you know, pose back and forth there you know the wrinkles there so this is where I need the help any help is greatly appreciated any ideas why when I bring these back in as you know this shoe prop they wrinkle up would be greatly appreciated so thanks in advance and hope to hear from you soon